Hello, this is Frederick, and welcome to A Golfer's Walk. Today, I'm going to vlog my day. Everything from doing my exercises and routines in the morning, my practicing that I do at home, as well as some of the stuff that I do at the course. <laughs> So one of the first things I do is I do an exercise routine, which helps with my overall mobility uh, and to correct a lot of muscle imbalances that I have. I'm going to be doing a specific video about this soon, so be sure to subscribe so you know when, uh, when that comes out. So most of the exercise work that I do are with items like one of these I think it's called a myofascial release ball, but it's a very hard ball. It's kind of like a, about the size of a softball, about that texture. Things like little bands of various types, uh, big exercise balls, foam rollers, uh, primarily because what I'm trying to do is to get dysfunctional muscles to work better and to not necessarily build flexibility uh, because that's, I've always had that. Uh, that's not been an issue for me but to be able to get my muscles in balance and then to help build uh, not just strength, but speed uh, in my game. So I work with uh, a gentleman by the name of Thomas Malchow with Trainfully. And uh, he's able to look at uh, my body and I do some various routines and he watches those videos and he can tell what it is that I have dysfunctional in my body and creates a system for me to be able to get better, to correct that, and then a system to be able to build up uh, speed and capacity in, in my muscles. And so what I get is a, a workout a schedule, a series of videos that I'm able to do at my own pace. Uh, I'm going to link him and the, his uh, uh, website if you're interested uh, in learning more. But uh, what I get is essentially a spreadsheet that has a series of routines and uh, from here I can just click on the link and it brings up uh, a, a secure site that has uh, my workout routine here um, for today. Uh, the, the workouts uh, that I do, um, there are three routines a week that I do. They work on various areas of the body for specific things. And uh, uh, so I do, and then it's a, how many weeks? It's a 12 week uh, program. Uh, but I've had so much trouble structurally with my body and my muscles not acting properly that uh, it took me quite a while to stabilize and correct the imbalances in my body before I could start to work on increasing strength and capacity, which I've gotten through and Thomas has been great in helping me with that. So I'm going to do my exercise routine today, which is the lower extremity optimization. Uh, some of these I do on my own. I don't need the video because I've got it memorized. They're not real long. It's a 30 minute video generally about that. Um, but uh, some of the first ones I was stuck on them for so long because of the problems that I had. So, so now uh, I'm moving along a little bit more. Um, so I have to watch the videos because I don't, don't have them memorized anymore. So one of the things I didn't mention is, is that the really interesting and great thing about his routines, especially in a time like now, is that these are all things that I do from home, very easy to do from home, given the pieces of equipment and the requirements um, it's nice because I can do it kind of when I want to, early in the morning, whenever. Um, and uh, the equipment that you need is very simple and inexpensive. Um, all of this would probably only be a couple, like maybe two months of a gym membership that I was paying for.
So I guess the next big thing is eating and nutrition. Um, uh, when I started to get back into the game about uh, a year and a half ago, I guess it is now, um, I weighed a lot more than I weigh now. I have actually lost 35 pounds since then and had to change a lot what I did in my diet and some activities. So I'm gonna go up, gonna get myself something that's good to eat. Um, I do intermittent fasting, basically means I eat basically in an eight hour window each day, uh, which helps my body in a lot of ways, which I'm not gonna get into. But uh, yeah, I'm hungry. All right guys, so one of the things that I do, try and do pretty much every day is very simple things, kind of the basics, uh, what I call the basics of the golf swing, things that you can do at home all the time. So uh, they include basic just working on your grip. Uh, it's a great thing to do when you're just sitting around and if you're sitting down watching some TV, uh, certainly nowadays watching a lot of the news, perfect time to work on your grip and just let it get comfortable without trying to swing it or you know hit a golf ball or anything like that uh, so i'll usually just sit on my couch and do that i might stand up and do it as if i'm on a dress if i'm watching golf i do this a lot of times so i'll work on that work on my grip just make, make sure that i've i've got that where i want it to be and that i'm not letting it get a little loose you know as if we neglect it it can be something that just starts to change uh, I also work on a lot of slow motion uh, swing work. So I just get set up and I just slowly go through the different uh, positions that I'm trying to get to. Uh, it can be very difficult to make swing changes, uh, primarily because it feels awkward or because things are moving so fast with so much force uh, that it's hard to make those fine changes. So to get my body to get a feel for it and to get used to it, I just do this with nice slow swings. Um, so I have a mirror that I set up with that I use. I can look into it and kind of check, you know, like I'll do it face on to check my uh, ball position and my setup, you know, how's my, where my hands at, are they falling back? Are they up where they should be? Head, tilt, all those things. Um, and then I'll usually do it where this, the, the mirror is behind me like this and so I can make my swings and I can kind of see where the path is and where the club face is. So one of the thing, you know, a couple of things that I work on all the time to me are absolutely fundamental. I don't care what your swing is, is <clears throat> maintaining uh, your posture. Um, for me, I struggle with keeping my uh, backside, my butt uh, where it is, where it needs to be. And it tends to, I tend to kind of want to stand up a little bit so my, I tend to stand up, which brings my butt in, and uh, the, I don't keep my spine angle down and, and rotating around it. <clears throat> so these are great things to work on in a mirror. Uh, I can work on them very slowly, just slowly taking it back. I find that to be very helpful as well as, you know, where I want my backswing to be. And then as I start to come down, you know, gathering it up and rotating my shoulders on the correct plane, uh, down and into and trying to mirror, you know, getting to what I think is good impact. So those are very simple things that you can do uh, all the time. It's something I try and do uh, pretty much every day to some degree. Um, now the slow motion work or the mirror work that I call it, I do it uh, where I do it with a club, but I also do it with my putting. So I know what is a good setup for me putting wise as far as my posture, the things that I key on. And so I make sure that my ball position and my posture and my right forearm, where my eyes are, are, are in a good position. And that's something you can do at home anytime. At the course and gonna get a lot of short game work in. I spend a lot of time on the short game um, 
I've always struggled as much as people say I have a really great swing and all that I've always struggled with my ball striking and so it's always been about my wedges and my short game getting up and down putting that's allowed me to score and play pretty well most of the time <clears throat> so besides it's the easiest part of the game to get good at you know it's really hard to be able to match up against you know a Dustin Johnson or a Rory McIlroy because in a full swing, being that precise with that much power is really hard. But the short game is just little swings, and I just really don't think it's that hard. So, and I enjoy it. So, I'm gonna chip around here for probably about an hour and a half or so, and then uh, spend some time at the range as well, hitting some balls. <clears throat> So just getting ready to do a shoot a video here, which I don't know if it's coming out before this or not, but uh, gonna do a little video on bunker practice and kind of the probably the most important thing to know when you're practicing in a bunker, what you should be practicing, and a really simple drill to be able to work on that. You'll have to watch the video though to find out what it is. So. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you know. Just like that. Not bad. So 
So I usually like to try and get out and play a couple holes after uh, practicing at least, or maybe nine. Just uh, depends upon what I'm working on, whether or not I feel comfortable going out and playing where I'm at with working on my swing. So today, just playing a few holes, getting a feel for it, trying to shoot a few videos uh, as well. Just not sure how much longer we're gonna be allowed to be out. Uh, so trying to shoot as much as I can on a decent day. All right, so I'm all done with uh, the practicing back home. Now I'm going to spend some time editing and uh, hopefully get uh, one of these videos done that I shot today and uh, going. Also, if you have not yet subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notifications bell. And in the description or in the comments, make sure you let me know what color you would like your name on the wall. And if you have subscribed and you haven't told me that yet, um, please, in the comments, let me know what color you'd like for your name because we want to get everybody's name up on the wall. And I don't know everybody that's subscribed unless you tell me because most of the information is private. So in next till next time, until next time, enjoy the walk. See ya.